Hey guys, it's me, Lego Lee 39 in here, bringing you yet again another Lego Hero Factory Savage Planet review. Today we have Lego set 2145 Stormer 3.0. It's ages 6 through 16. It contains 31 pieces, which is the most out of the whole Savage Planet line. Here's the front of the canister, and of course we've got the green lid, the code, which I'm not going to give you, and the back shows you can combine Rocket and Stormer to make that thing. Actual size of the Hero Core and that same comic we've been seeing on all of these canisters. And then we have the instruction manual, which is probably a bit longer than most. He has 17 pages, and those are all the pieces. It's got some more advertising, and just the combination model, and Hero Recon Team. And I did receive a Hero Recon Team sticker, like all of my other sets. Let's go on to Hero Factory Fun Fact. Okay, our Hero Factory Fun Fact for Stormer 3.0 was given to us by Never Enough Lego, and his fact was Stormer is the first hero to shrink after a streak in size after an upgrade, which is very interesting because Stormer 2.0 has a little bit of those longer legs, and then now the Stormer 3.0 is definitely shorter than Stormer 2.0, so a very interesting fact, uh, bulk will be my next uh, Hero Factory Savage Planet review, so submit facts about Bulk 3.0 and check out Never Enough Lego's channel, he does really cool reviews, and good luck. Whoa, some of you guys may be shocked to hear this, but Stormer 3.0 is my least favorite of the Hero Factory Savage Planet heroes. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate him. I can't really hate these guys, but he's just not that good. Um, let's go on to the interesting and cool parts first. Uh, we got the white feet, uh, we saw those with the last one, it's nothing new. I'm pretty sure this, was it two or three or whatever, the uh, three long armor uh, we saw never came in this white color and you get three of those in white this time. We did see a lot of these in the last Stormer and we have seen quite a few of these armor pieces here, which is a very big armor piece in this guy from, the, from not the last Stormer, but uh, quite a f other heroes. And we do get a... Spike and blue, which is a new recolor. I actually get three spikes in blue in this set. And then um, we have, of course, like all the other heroes, we have the lower limbs in gray. I have a white hand, only one at this time. And we have his very cool hero badge. I really like this hero badge. It's, of course, the translucent uh, green. And we have Stormer 3.0 and the rhino, because that's the animal that Stormer represents. And then we have. Stormers. Well, first off, his torso, we got gunmetal, which is a little bit different. The last one was silver, then, um, then white, and then a blue hero core, which we saw at the last one. We have a blue head, which we saw at the last one, and his helmet. Uh, this helmet is not that good. Um, it, it looks better if you're just trying to get more of like a humanoid kind of figure, but it doesn't, I mean, besides the horn, it doesn't really look like a rhino. And I really like how the fact, like, um, the one I have right here, Ferno, he looks like an eagle. But this guy, besides the horn, he just looks like, you know, like a knight's helmet or something. And I don't really like that. I kind of want it to look like the animal. Uh, next up, we'll be t taking a look at uh, his weapon, which is a just a crap. I hate this weapon. It's really, really bad. Um, I gotta say, it looks really ugly. <laughs> Um, we do get this piece, which is a new piece in silver, which we saw in rock and gold. Then we get two gunmetal extra force arms, and why are these, like, claws in blue? Um, I don't understand that. It just looks so hideously ugly. Um, and then we have the villain core piece, which just adds a little bit of armor, but, I mean, it wasn't really necessary. I really think this weapon is ugly. It doesn't look good, and it's really small. And then on his other arm, we have this unnecessary uh, white armor piece here. It doesn't really need to be there. It just, you know, it bulks him up, which is good. But in the name, same time, it just kind of looks a little unnecessary. So, I mean, I think his weapon is really ugly. And I think his helmet could have been a lot better. And um, the white on the gray does not work. It works better on the black, not on the gray. I still think he looks decent, I guess. But, I mean, he's definitely my least favorite hero. Let's compare him to the other Stormers and see how he looks. Uh, okay, so here is the Stormer family. Um, I mean, it looks pretty good. and uh, You can see, obviously, Stormer 2.0 is taller. And don't comment about that stupid eyepiece missing. I know people are going to hate that, but who cares? Um, but you can see Stormer 2.0 is taller like Never Enough Lego told us. And, you know, they all look pretty cool. Um, I do. I always really like the ice guys. 
Um, it's not the best ice guy. I think this guy was one of the best from the first series. This guy was kind of a little bit higher in the middle to the series. But this one is my first Stormer, where I think he's either the second or almost pretty much I think he's the worst of the series. And for that, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. I really just don't like him that much. Um, his articulations, you know, the same as it was last time. It's always good pose ability. You gotta give him credit for that. But I mean, he doesn't look that much like his, like the animal. And I guess he's good for mocking. But besides that, not that great of a figure. So this is Lego Leaf 59, and please submit your fun facts about Bulk, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.